What's up guys? So today we're out here fishing. Got my friend Justin with us. Hey. Wanted to come out fishing and chase some boils, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, today I wanna show you guys a trick because after last our last triper video, a lot of people were writing me, you know, how are you getting these uh boils to stay up and all this and that. So we're gonna show you guys a little bit of the tricks we do when we have problems when the boils aren't staying up for long. So um Stay tuned because it's going to be a really cool video. We're going to catch tons of fish today. I'm going to show you guys a couple tricks, like I said, on how to keep boils up and how to fish them a little bit better. A bunch of baby gizzards it looks like yeah a ton of baby gizzards you can still see the darker water oh my <laughs> goodness oh we're good <laughs> one more throw might as well they're over here to the right we're good <laughs> oh my gosh they're all a good size too So the first trick to keeping boils up longer is if you can catch these. These are a bunch of little shad right here. And um, so when, when the fish are boiling obviously, or even if they're not boiling, if you can get your hands on some shad, when you get them alive like this, you kind of stun them a little bit. You know, you can slap them out of the net or whatever so that they can kind of just float on the surface and you know, flutter a little bit. And that's a cool way to keep them up because once you're seeing these boils, a lot of times, you know, they'll go down really quick. If you can get your hands on some shad like this, throw them all around your boat and have them flickering around, you're gonna bring the boils actually to your boat and they're gonna stick around you for a little bit and you're gonna get a lot more opportunities to catch them. Just like that, super easy. I'm gonna throw out some of those shad right here for them real quick. That's good, keep going on those ones. So a lot of fish just jumped right here and then uh, they all went down. So we're gonna go ahead and throw out some shad see if we can't get a boil started again. <clears throat> I don't do it, I don't know what we're... All right, I stopped recording, but it didn't take long. Less than, I would say, two minutes. All these shad that we threw out, these stripers are schooling here and they're splashing on top. And of course, right when I start filming, it Thank stops. <laughs> Adrian, you got one, you got one. Oh, snap. oh goodness. Uh, unless he's coming towards you. Uh, yep, you got him. <coughs> Adrian hooked up. Alright, so I just got one right now. We threw out these shad because these stripers aren't staying up anymore to get them up around our boat and it's working. I threw on some shad as live bait. We got stripers all around these shad. You can see them eating them. We might need to throw a couple more here. Right, here we go. Here we go. We're not keeping them right now, so I'm just going to unhook them, throw on some more bait. There we go. Yep, they're jumping on them. Are they still going or no? Oh! My goodness. Oh, I might have one. I have one. Oh, oh, oh! I might have two then, shoot. But this either a big one or something. I got two different shads on this one, so that was the goal of this, to try to catch two fish at once. See if I did it. Hopefully one didn't get off. I think I felt one shake off. Oh no, I got one. He's just fighting like heck. 
Oh, another one's chasing that, uh, chasing him though, trying to eat the other shot off of him. See, come on, come on, another. Oh, he broke me off, huh? Let him take it too long. No, he broke the line that time. Eight pound test. Gosh dang it. He got you good. I was trying to wait for the other one to eat it. Teeth rubbing on it on too much or something. Yeah, maybe rolled in it. Yeah. I got it. Oh. <laughs> got it. There we go. There it is, Justin hooks up. Oh, that's so many chasers. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a nice one too. Yeah. Should I throw him in a live well? Yeah. Brought Justin out, he's out here, slayed one already. We're in them thick again. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Three of them. Oh, oh man, they're hitting. Go, go, go. Oh, there he is. Come on, come on, oh, come on. Got him, got him. Oh, yeah. he got off. Oh man. Come on. They must be small, a lot of them. They're not they're not they're not Switch sides, you just crossed them. Oh, you're hit. Oh, he got off again. Oh. What the heck? Oh no, he's on. He's on. He's on. He's on. Okay. He hooked up again, huh? Oh, there. Oh, hey, on. we need a stringer so we can we bleed him. Nice. Woo! Almost got my foot. Back that way. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at boil season. These are all good size ones, yeah. Dude, they're hitting this like crazy. This not, oh my gosh. This thing literally it's too big. Oh my god. Hook up. There it is. Oh my gosh. Did you see it? Oh my oh gosh. gosh. What's up? Out here getting dinner. <laughs> oh, no, my stuff cast it off. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> You're live, bro. Oh. It was live busted on the cast. I hate when that happens. He has brain damage now. <laughs> Where's the scissors at? Do you get one? Take, take, take. Yeah, I want to catch two, though. There we go. Double hook up. Yes, sir. <laughs> True double. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nice one. Yeah, dude. You're like, that's three. Three pounder? Is that a three? <laughs> Two and a half. Oh, Bust my line. He got away? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. His line's too. Get rid of that crap. Yeah, eight pound test ain't gonna work here. Teeth are sharp. You know, we, we already caught a lot of fish in these boils. Now, if you wanna keep a boil staying up longer, uh, there's one thing you have to do with your boat. Boat placement is actually a pretty big deal. Um, the boils move around and stuff, so you don't wanna actually just roll right through the boil. You know, the problem a lot of people get is they're gonna just main motor it all the way through the boil, get right on top of them and start fishing. A lot of times that scares them and it pushes them down, so. What we like to do, you know, you go up to about 150 yards away-ish, you drop the trolling motor, and then you kind of roll in slow like that. And it'll just help them stay up a little bit longer. So it's just all about scaring them. You don't want to scare the fish. You want to keep them, you know, actively feeding on the surface. So big tip out there, we see this a lot of times, don't just roll right through the fish. Now, sometimes you can't help that the fish come right to you. It just makes it funner. But just try to keep noise down a little bit with the main motor and stuff, and you'll catch more fish in your boils. All right, so we were fishing. Fishing was pretty good. We were about to head back anyways, and uh, we saw them waving us down from a little ways out. So we pulled over, and they said they they seen the channel and stuff, so that's pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and call it a little early today. I think they said their motor gave out, and they've been on their trolling motor for like two hours trying to get back. Somebody gets stranded out here, you help them. Yep. I know for a fact that if I was stranded out here, I'd want someone to help me out too. So that's what we're doing today, going to pull them back.
Yeah, that would be pretty cool if a boil popped up. Both of us fish it with them. <laughs> but the wind picked up a little bit, so we we're gonna call it a day anyways. We're headed back, got a little bit of a ways ahead of us, probably like a 30 minute tow. So we're gonna go get going.